come and get it. Hello everybody, what is up Prof Toast here? So as you can see, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Tomy N64 controller. Now you may notice, you think, oh wait, didn't you already do an unboxing of this? Like, no, this is actually the one meant for the console itself. Because I actually like the other one so much, I actually want to get a console version. So the only difference is, this one basically doesn't glow. As for the form factor, it's pretty much the same. I don't know if the buttons feel any different. Backing is pretty much the same. Of course, I pre-cut this because these type of packages are like the bane of my existence when trying to open them. Alright, let's go ahead and get started with this. Ouch. Frickin' plastic stabbing me. Okay, now if I can just get it out of the box. So yeah, this one, basically no insulsity, of course. So as you can see, if I can get the camera angle correct, of course got the N64 plug-in. Buttons feel about the same. Actually, they feel a little bit better. I don't know, they feel a bit better press in. Of course, the analog stick still feels pretty good. And if you notice this one, if I can get the correct light angle, it actually has the port, so if I wanted to do something like plug in the Game Boy adapter, it just plugs in right there, so it works with everything. Ah, uh, now if I can just get it out. Now, to compare it basically to whoa, the USB one, you can see pretty similar, except the USB one's a bit lighter of a blue. The USB one also, if I can so if you can see it, basically where the slot is, it basically just has a foam padding. You can still technically actually put stuff in here, like like that. Doesn't not do a single thing, but hey, you can put stuff in it. Other than that, yeah. So like as for the buttons, yeah, the buttons actually feel looser to press on the was a USB one. As for this one, they feel a bit more firm. So I do like that. And as for the control sticks, for the most part, it feel exactly the same. They're like tiny little minimal differences. Other than that, pretty cool. Can't wait to actually test this out because I'm using kind of a basic one. Other than that, it wasn't too bad. This is like $15 free shipping. So definitely pretty cool. I'm excited to play this. Hope this has uh, helped any of you guys who are looking to buy yourself a used console controller. For the N64, uh, this one I would actually recommend because Tomy actually seems to do a pretty good job when it comes to quality. Alright, so that's my unboxing for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.